It's really pretty easy to take. <coughs> uh, it's just a much better way to go. So with all that stuff, like I said, that I've learned, I've learned how to let go of all these things. So if you, if you know, I, I hope that I've given you guys some tools tonight on how to start to let go of some resentments. Now obviously the bigger ones are harder to let go of, but if you can work on letting go of the small ones, then it's easy to let go of the bigger ones. The key is with any of this stuff, letting go of resentment, letting go of fear, letting go of guilt, shame, is action. you got to take some action. I tell people all the time, you can sit home on your ass and pray till you're blue in the face. If you don't get up and do something, probably not much going to happen. If you ask God to move a mountain, bring a shovel. You've got your part to do. So, go see a counselor if you have to. Go see, you, you got some spiritual friends that really seem to be grounded. Go talk to them. See what they're doing. Uh, there's, go, if church is your deal, talk to your priest, your pastor, your minister, or whatever your church is. Take some action. You've got to do something different if you want something different. So if there's a resentment that's been bugging you for years and years and years, you want to get, get rid of it, the first step is being willing. The second step is taking the action. If you take the action, you'll get results. If you don't, you're not going to. You want gas in your car, you've got to drive to the gas station, you've got to put your credit card in the pump or pay the woman, you've got to take the pump out, turn it on, open the gas cap, put it in, squeeze the handle, then some gas goes in your car, then you can drive it. If you don't do that, you're not going to get very far. If you just drive it until it runs out of gas and then you're mad because it ain't moving, whose fault is that? It's your own. So the key is action. Take some action and uh, you've got a half a chance at, at getting rid of this stuff and really, really just enjoying everyday living every day a little bit. Now, uh, when I was practicing and starting out, I wasn't enjoying life every day, but I was having some days. Now I have a lot more good days than I do bad days, and, and I know what to do so I can get back to, I can do it and get back to that enjoying every day a lot quicker. Most of the time today, I'm pretty happy. Now, being happy doesn't mean I'm jumping for joy all the time and all excited about life, but I'm pretty happy. There's nothing real major really driving me. No big fears, no big resentments. I'm able to let them go. I cut the chain. I don't want to live in that little block in the past anymore. So I'll tell you one more story and then I'll shut my pie hole. <clears throat> I, uh, I took a two-year course in, in uh, intensive shamanic practices and then I took a graduate program. So I've had four years of training in, in shamanic working in uh, Anyways, you do these journeys, it's a form of meditation, and you get information that kind of helps you out with life. So uh, I read in my, one of Michael Hanna's books about actually practicing a journey. You can go any way you want. You open a window or you open something and you and you envision yourself going out through that window to where it is you want to go. So I was going to go to Oakland Nature Preserve. I was at the, at the camper place I was in Florida. And I open up the vent and I'm going to, that's where I'm going. So we do a journey by the beat of a drum, and what that does is it, is it quiets my mind down, and I can focus on the drum, and then I can have my meditation. So I envision myself going out through the vent, and I'm headed for Oakland Nature Preserve, and I'm stopped. And I see these black jelly beans just going. It's like, what is that? You know, I want to go to down and have this nice, peaceful journey down there at Oakland, and all these, these black jelly beans. <laughs> then it goes up like a split screen up here, and it's just going all the time and I go off and I go down to Oakland and I'm just down there and I'm enjoying the birds and the alligators and it's just a wonderful journey. It's very peaceful meditation. The whole time these black jelly beans are going up here. So then I come back you know I stop the drumming and I kind of come back to, to now and, and I write this stuff down because a lot of times I don't get it unless I write it down. As I'm writing it down what those black jelly beans was is a main road right outside the campground, a four lane highway and it's cars going all the time. And that's what I saw was lost souls, just in a hurry. To get wherever they were going, and they were just going to be in a hurry to go somewhere else, and then just be in a hurry to go somewhere else, and they just wasn't living. They were just lost souls, just in a hurry, and they didn't even know where they were going. In the meantime, I was having this nice little peaceful deal down there with all the animals and the alligators, and it was great. So what I got out of that was don't become a black jelly bean. Don't just become one of them people that just goes through everyday life not really going nowhere, doing nothing, just in a hurry to go somewhere and get to the next event, and the next event, and the next event, and you get home and you're exhausted, and what you do? Nothing really. You just run around all day. They don't want to face none of this stuff, you know, those kind of people. They don't want to face the resentments and the fears. They don't want to deal with it. They just want to keep themselves occupied so they don't have to deal with this. So don't become a black jelly bean. 
be courageous enough to step out of the box, take some of this action, get that higher power involved in your life, and change directions. And if you're fairly happy now and you're doing real good and you don't have to do nothing, great. That's good. Good for you. But you, everybody can use a little bit of something somewhere. I don't care how happy you are, you can use a little bit of something somewhere. So after you leave here tonight, don't be a black jelly bean. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, I do also do uh, spiritual programs. I do what's called an intensive life recovery program. So if you really want to get involved in this and, and uh, do the work to rid yourself of fear and resentment from the past, I'll tell you it's a very intense program. You're going back and visit that event and you're going to see it for what it is. And uh, Tom's been halfway through it. What do you think so far? Changed my life. So that is available also if you think you want to go follow it. Absolutely. So other than that, have a great night. And I'm yeah. glad you guys all came out. Good job, guys. Yeah.